What's up guys, it's Vid here and today I'm bringing you an infected game on Hardhat. Now, I'm, I'm doing this video because I just I just need to get this off my chest. I need to like rant it out and hopefully by doing so it'll help me calm down, help me relax and you know, maybe between the time I do this video and upload it, I'll just be completely at peace and woo sighing and everything. But every time, it, it's just been pissing me the fuck off every time I play this game. Now, it's not Modern Warfare 3, surprisingly, but it is its predecessor, and that's Call of Duty 2. As most of you know, I recently purchased an Xbox. I don't have a lot of games for it, so because of that, I borrowed Call of Duty 2 from a friend. Now, I don't have live yet, because I'm not getting live until Halo 4 comes out, and there's no point in me just playing Halo Reach online. And, you know, for, for me, like, I, I just view it as a waste of money at the moment right now. Or a waste of money related to months. And you know what? No, I'm not getting it yet. But because of that, I'm playing the campaign to kill Call of Duty 2. I like it so far. I like it, you know, I, I, I like the story. Because, you know, that's World War 2. What you can do about it. But I'm playing it on veteran. And that's where the problem starts. The AI in this game, the squad mates, the friendly soldiers, are the most retarded motherfuckers you can ever have. How the hell are you going to have a firefight with a German soldier when you have a haystack in between you and both of you are taking cover with the haystack? How the fuck are you... How, uh, uh, do you, it's it's mind-boggling it, it it really is and i know it's computer i know it's pro like it's pro you know programs and and shit like that but there has to be something where you can at least have one soldier just like in a moment of self-awareness just be like you know what fuck this and just pop out and just pop out of cover and just shoot the motherfucker in the head like how difficult is that do and, and just knowing the game and knowing what I've witnessed so far, the German soldier could easily wipe them both out. And there was two people, it was two on one, the German soldier was outnumbered and the motherfuckers couldn't kill him. God damn, yo, seriously, I've, I've seen a soldier run away from a grenade. That's fine. But he ran away to a route where you can easily flank the enemy. Oh no. He wants to do it the hard way. He wants to go back in the middle of bullets and shit instead of flanking the enemy and catching him, you know, by surprise. No, no, that, no, that's that's too much logic. No, hell fucking no. You know what this here reminds me of? It reminds me of Resistance from PS3. The first one. The very first one. That was like one of the first first-person shooters I, I played along with Call of Duty 3 when I first got my PS3. When I first got my console. I'm not, I, I, I kid you not, I shit you not. First five minutes of the campaign in Resistance 3, my entire squad. I was, not, not the entire squad, the entire fucking battalion was wiped out. Like, Jesus shit. I like, what the fuck? And I, I put that game down. I, I didn't play it until I started getting into the multiplayer for Resistance. That was a shit, and that's why that's why I got back into resistance. But it's the same situation. And it's pissing me off. I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding the fucking Nazi army by, my, by myself. That's how it is. You know, it's like I'm holding, I'm holding, the, like the soldiers' hands. I'm telling you, you need to aim this way, and that's, and you need to shoot a bullet, you need to pull the trigger. That's how you kill someone. But I, I it, it's just, it, it I, I can't handle it. I really can't. It's just, wow. Jesus.